Hi Capricorn, this is Sha. Welcome back to your monthly romance reading. I'm using the Kingdom of the Tarot and uh, that adorable Tarot of the Kingdom, I mean. And I'm also using the Transparent Tarot for this month's reading and the an one account of the Answer of the Angels and TLC for the Soul. So, those are your cards for October. So, let's get started with your reading. By the way, have a look at this week's readings, general readings, because there's a lot of new things happening and I've mentioned that in the introduction of each video. Okay, and it could be a nice combination with your romance uh, reading to watch it back every week, the romance reading, see whether the energies follow up in the romance section as well. Okay, but first of all I'm starting off with the transparent, then I will lay the transparent on the tarot of the kingdom and that will give us a more of a story for a week. Each card represents a week in the month. First of all Capricorn, we start off with the lovers. There might be a Gemini, as the lovers represent Gemini um, in the tarot. This is the big arcana and it means that you might meet your soulmate or that you recognize that you are with your soulmate um, at the moment. You might have been with each other for a few years or longer and now you are feeling really one or realizing that you have your soulmate. If you've realized this before then you're an awful lucky person because soulmates do, do not have to be partners like we all know or some of us know anyway I don't believe a soulmate has to be a partner, it can be a best friend. But you're lucky because if you are with your soulmate, because that's awesome to have a partner that thinks and feels and has the same interests as you. You this makes the relationship balance much quicker and much easier. So if you're hooked up then you might be in sync with your partner. So that is your soulmate. Awesome. If not, there could be a soulmate coming in for those that are not hooked up. And this could be a Gemini. We have the Fool, and the Fool means take that leap of faith. So obviously this is more or less for the unhooked people, uh, unpartnered, unpartnered people. Uh, you might have to take that leap. Perhaps this is the time, this week, uh, the Fool is saying take that leap of faith. If there is a Gemini around you or a new person, take that leap of faith and go into a relationship because they are your soulmate. Give it time and give it a chance to find out where your soulmate's at. Is it generally in life or is it just in love? Is it in passion? Um, is it also the way you think about work and home life? This is exciting because this is an adventure on its own. So take that leap of faith. I'm going to do it slightly different again because these cards, the tarot cards, the transparent tarot is really flexible. So now I'm going to start layering, not after I've done the whole row, but actually right at the beginning. And here you can see that the heart is in the middle of the cosmos, right? The heart and the balance, the yin and the yang, the dark side, the feminine side or the masculine side is right in the center of the cosmos because it just looks like stars. Now I'll just remove it. You see the moon here and the stars there and the little bear, the fool, just sitting on the cliff's edge pondering whether to jump or not to take that leap of faith. So there you are. This is also showing you the divine is holding your 
balance and your emotions and your heart the heart means of course emotions open up your heart open up your heart to the cosmos and take that leap of faith that there is somebody out there for you they have your back also the angels because they are also part of the cosmos and the divine this is a beautiful picture summing it up what love is sometimes love means we have to take a leap of faith and have faith in the potential partner or in our partner they brought us together wow this is really psychedelic <laughs> no never mind that's the 1960 uh, uh, energy of the flower power being one with all being one with nature being one with y yourself and your partner peace and love not war wow that's really amazing that that has come out it brings a smile on my face well as they say everything comes around in circles even the fashion comes around in circles standards and morals they never disappear they always come back round and look at this swirl of the rainbow yes that is representing the queen of air she's riding on the rainbow perhaps you might be feeling like that as well as if you are riding on a rainbow because your partner your potential partner is making you feel airy fairy Woo it looks like the um, the the carriage of Cinderella I'll just hold it up there you go you can see the, the coach made out of this swirl with the wheels and it's riding on the rainbow okay now we first start off in the second week with the high priestess the book of knowledge the book of all answers the book the mystery book okay nobody on earth has all the answers but she does so take the page out of her book be her be a bis bit mysterious it is very uh, sensual to be mysterious it you know you can it's like getting undressed and being naked you see everything even the floors now if you wear some clothes and cover yourself up a little bit more but sensual and sexy then that is much more enticing towards your partner also for yourself don't reveal everything in romance make it a game make it adventurous ride that rainbow it is the queen of air she can be mysterious but she's really true and honest and just she loves to the queen of air is libra but it can be a gemini as well uh, or an aquarius and they can be mysterious because they're flexible they go where nothing else can go because the air flows so go with the flow be a bit mysterious play your ideas because the air signs stand for wisdom ideas play with ideas be creative keep it mystical and sensual and sexy wow and that is what the high priestess is saying but don't forget to um, watch out for your emotions your intuition and your spirituality develop it let it go go with the flow okay be clear be transparent don't keep any secrets but keep your ideas close to your chest play your cards close to your chest let it unfold just between your partner and you but keep it sensual mystery is sensual it is exciting play have a great game be passionate right be flexible like the air signs it we will be at the end of the second week going into the third week we uh, of october we are coming again 
to the zodiac of Scorpio so the signs might be changing you might be more secretive or sensual Ooh, very exciting this is really a sexy reading oh it's going to be magic for most of you if not all of you okay so keep things clear be transparent communicate uh, I get the word to hear voluptuously communicate voluptuous use sensual words this is the time of communication and communication will be sweet and colorful so long you watch your intonation like the Queen of Air the Queen of Air is Libra so it also signifies to me be in balance keep it balanced don't don't give everything like I said don't reveal everything because the high priestess doesn't reveal everything be a bit mysterious it is enticing and it will pull your partner towards you you'll have a wow sexy life sexual life there might be more fire boom like stars exploding fireworks this week in the first two weeks definitely in the second week wow this is really enticing okay Capricorn I hope you won't get worn out <laughs> anyway but I don't think so because you've got the two of swords so you are closed off so open up open your heart open your heart the two of ones is somebody closed off their heart chakra and the solar plex and their mind and vision because usually they are blindfolded so open up that vision open up to these beautiful positive uh, t uh, possibilities be open Ooh, be the beacon be the rainbow be the star okay if you're going to just sit there and not coming out of your head in making a decision or a choice with regards to something it could be a person because you've closed yourself off perhaps you've closed yourself off to your partner or to the world the divine the cosmos and then you will not receive sensuality sexuality or love or interaction come on you need to get interactive okay take that leap of faith open your heart to the divine the cosmos and be the star to being like the queen of air so take that blindfold off open your solar plex your heart and your mind and vision on how to do things you have the three of fire here the three of fire is the path okay plans things coming together now you can only make plans come together if you open up look at the magic of this you are bang in the middle of the path you can make it happen you can travel look at the fire coming out of you it's like a dragon it just seems like a dragon get into these pictures get out of your mind there's ex if you open your mind just look I ideas are exploding it's yellow that's the solar plex chakra if you open up boom you've got the green your heart is opening up look at it branching out and splurting out like fireworks and going into action and being grounded amazing if you open up you will be grounded the cosmos has your back the divine has your back okay so long you stay transparent honest and clear and communicate like the Queen of Air you will see rainbows answers will come to you from your subconscious okay your spirituality your higher self Wow this is bouncing off this sheet of pink paper 
make it happen you can make it happen so long you come in action and open up and believe in yourself and believe in the steps you're going to take you have the page of wands so there could be a fire sign around you an Aries a Leo a Sagittarius how many people do you want to choose from you've got so much choice somebody is bringing you news this could be an invitation to passion this could be your partner if they are an uh, a Libra or don't forget any of the other air signs or the fire sign okay any of the fire signs Ooh, no fire uh, I am fireworks that's what I'm hearing if you want to open up to it you might get an invitation to passion a passion going out for dinner going out for a weekend break going out and getting that swirl getting that heart thumping again with lust and love Woo! there you go now you could be meeting one of the fire signs but you will be receiving news about passion or uh, um, what you call it um, action call a call to action and act upon it swiftly because they are swift and know your boundaries and their boundaries don't get burnt then you have the eight of air exactly more or less the same card as the two of air open up she, this is the card in a traditional tarot a woman standing in a circle of swords blindfolded with her hands behind her back supposedly tied up but she isn't tied up it is an other way of feeling saying that you feel trapped you're too much in your head so come out of your head take that blindfold off okay and this is the last two months like I said if you've been weeks in the month if you've been so active take it steady keep the balance like Libra try to keep the balance then you won't get burned out if you know each other's boundaries okay you might be the rock in the relationship like the tree boom branching out yeah you might be catching it's like your arms are the the branches catching every every single issue around you up no keep yourself to yourself okay you don't have to be there and be as solid as a rock for everybody just for you first of all and foremost and then for your partner set your boundaries let others know your boundaries so that you can open up and protect yourself you can have an open heart and open mind you can be open and go for what you want your plans are coming together so long you open up okay you might be the solid one in the relationship and not airy fairy especially with the air signs the Libra or the Gemini or Aquarius but we did have the Queen of air so that's Libra also with the fire signs don't get burnt down you are their life force as you are also your own life force and they are your life force you can't do without one or the other remember that find the balance the Queen of air you might be the stronger one but sometimes you have to let go of that strength and like succumb to their will and their passion but know your boundaries otherwise you will get burned up now here we've got the it looks like the page is swirling in the air and it could be airmail that's how I see it and he's coming down the tree to meet you halfway he might have been up here in the tree just staying beyond your reach so let them come in and bring the news or the invite join in the playfulness the page is childlike so be let your inner child out 
Wow, then we have the answer of the angels. Yes, definitely. This month is passion, action, and getting together and refreshing your faith in each other. Take that leap of faith with and get the faith and trust. Get that boundary really sturdy and set like the tree. Okay, you're each other's life force. Now from the TLC, for the soul we have a day away from it all. Like I said, if it is going away, that invitation for going away for the day or for the weekend or an evening, a dinner or going to the cinema, take it. Today is yours and tomorrow is coming as it will. Yesterday is complete with all its learning and lessons. You can rest now and embody this moment's embrace. Definitely your each other's pillar. Life force, the tree to me means also life force. Feel yourself supported by it as you step away from your daily tasks Give your full attention to your body and mind and soul and your partner, while infusing each moment with thoughtfulness around your true needs. Yes, but set your boundaries. Let your soul rest from the myriad of voices that are vying for your attention. Okay, get out of your mind. Sorry, it was this one and the Eight of Swords. Be still, return to nature. There you go, the tree. Be still. And share the silence, like the two old trusted friends who, by just being together, soothe each other's tired hearts. Have faith, renewed and strengthened by your time away joy will return and with it the clarity and energy that is naturally within you the, the queen of air and the two of swords and the eight of swords so go out there sit in nature the answers will come relax open your soul like i said and bring back the balance and I think you know the answer as well. Go with the flow. Here you've got the boat, I think. Yes, it's a boat. So go with the flow. Let it happen. And be mysterious. Be sensual. Let your inner sensuality, your inner child, come out. Awesome. I think this is a beautiful reading. Okay, be happy and enjoy. Trust yourself and your other half or potential other half. Join the two hearts together and you'll have yin and yang. Balance. I love you all. Take care and have a beautiful month.